this video, we're talking about how to find the range, mean, median, and mode of a set of numbers. And in this particular problem, we've been given the set of numbers 2, 3, 6, 9, 10, 2, and 2. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 numbers in our set, and we need to find the range, mean, median, and mode. So let's talk about range first. Range is always going to be the largest number in your set minus the smallest number in your set. So in our case, our largest number here is 10. So we take 10 and then we subtract the smallest number, which in our case is two. And even though we have three instances of two in our set, it doesn't matter. Two is still the smallest number. It's smaller than three, six, and nine. So we're gonna get 10 minus two, which is gonna be eight. You can think about this as the set ranges from two to 10 or between two and 10. So a distance of eight units, the range is eight. If we talk about mean, mean is like average. The way we find the mean is we add up all of the numbers in our set and then we divide by the number of numbers that we have. So if we add all of these together, we'll get two plus three is five, five plus six is 11, 11 plus nine is 20, 20 plus 10 is 30, 30 plus two is 32, and 32 plus two is 34. So the total of all of these, when we add them all up together, is 34, and then we wanna divide this by however many numbers we have. So remember we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers, we just count up how many we have, and we divide 34 by seven. We can't reduce this fraction at all, but if we wanna do this on our calculator, we can say that this is approximately equal to about 4.86, or we can just leave it as 34 sevenths. Now when it comes to finding the median, if our set is not already listed in ascending order, meaning if it's not already listed from smallest to largest number, then we need to rearrange it so that it is. So if we rewrite the set in order, so we'll take all of the smallest numbers, remember two is the smallest number and we have three of them, we have to write all three of them, so we'll get two, two, and two, that's gonna take care of this one, this one, and this one. Then our next smallest number is three, then six, then nine, then 10. So we'll get three, then six, then nine, then 10. So we got three, six, nine, and 10. When you're doing this, if you have a large set of numbers, you can always underline them like I did to make sure you don't miss any, and or you can figure out how many numbers you have in your set, in our case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then count out the number you have when you rewrite them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just to make sure you got all of them. Now, the reason we need to rewrite the order is because what we're gonna do to find the median is find the middle number when our numbers are written in ascending order. So the easiest way to do this is just to cross off the two numbers on the end. So that's two and 10, then two and nine, then two and six, and whatever we're left with in the middle, in this case, three, three is gonna be the median. Now keep in mind that this is gonna work out perfectly when we have an odd number of numbers in our set, right? We were able to find a middle with no problem because there was just one number in the middle. Sometimes you're gonna have an even number of numbers in your set and you'll end up with two numbers in the middle. So for example, if we had the set two, four, six, eight, and we wanted to find the median, well, these are already written in ascending order, we would cross off the numbers on the end, but now we're left with two numbers in the middle. There's not just one number that we can pick out. When that happens, what you wanna do is find the mean of these two numbers. So remember, how do we find the mean? We add up our numbers, so we get four plus six is 10, and then we divide by the number of values we had in the set, which is always gonna be two. 10 divided by two is equal to five, so in this case, the median of this set would be equal to five, not four or six or the range four to six, but the mean of the two numbers in the middle. Coming back now to our problem, the last thing we need to find is mode, and mode is one of the easiest ones. It's just the number that occurs most often in the given set. In our case, that's gonna be two because two occurs three times. We have it here three times. Three only occurs once, six occurs once, nine occurs once, and 10 occurs once. That means that two occurs the most times out of the numbers in this set. So the mode of the set is two. Now, just like with the median, this might not always work out perfectly. Remember with the median, if we had just one number in the middle, no problem. If we had two numbers in the middle, then the median was gonna be the mean of those two numbers in the middle. With the mode, if we don't have a number that occurs more than all of the other numbers, then we just say that the set has no mode. So for example, instead of the set I was given here, if this two wasn't in the set and this two wasn't in the set, and we just had two, three, six, nine, ten, each of these numbers occurs only once. So there's no standout number that occurs more than every other number. So there would have been no mode. It was only because two occurred more than any other number in the set that we were allowed to say that the mode was two. So that's how you find the range, mean, median, and mode given a set of values like this one.